Nations to little known facts about the Alamo City. There's plenty to keep you entertained online with a look at what's streaming this week on the KSAT TV app as well as other platforms. Here's KSAT TV producer Alyssa Medina. Did you know Fritos were invented in San Antonio or the LBJs were married downtown? Our city is full of random history and knowledge. Right now on the KSAT TV app, see how much you know about everything from the rodeo to the Alamo and more. Watch today on Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick or Roku. Enter Katie's Science Lab right now on the KSAT Kids section of KSAT.com. You can take a look at several fun experiments or grab your supplies and lab coat and follow along. Easy activities often feature things we have in our pantry already. Traveling across oceans and continents, a young Swedish activist is making it her mission to travel the planet in order to save it. People refuse to listen to me. Children were very mean. But I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice. I Am Greta takes a closer look at how Greta Thunberg is raising awareness about climate change and motivating the world to do something about it. Watch this documentary on Hulu, November 13th. And if you're looking to pump the brakes a bit, nothing slows things down like a good meal. The Eater's Guide to the World takes you on a trip to several different countries to see which restaurants have locals lining up for seconds. Oh man, I'm having a quasi-religious experience. The Eater's Guide to the World premieres November 11th on Hulu. And if you'd like to try your hand at a few new recipes yourself, but you're not quite Julia's child, why not learn from a novice chef who's learning his way around the kitchen too? I make a suggestion. No. Oh, it's such a lovely intro. I said no. You can stream the show Oh Cook on Amazon Prime Video November 13th. This is the only place where I've ever been where I finally felt like I belong. We have to get Buddy back. And Christmas has come early for all you holiday lovers. A legendary toy maker needs his granddaughter's help in this holiday musical adventure. Together, they'll use a long-forgotten invention to heal old wounds and find the magic that's been missing in their lives. The film features a star-studded cast, including original songs from artists like John Legend. Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, starts streaming on Netflix November 13th, or catch it at some local Santico's theaters. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, the magic lives inside of you. For The Noon, Alyssa Medina, KSAT 12 News. You want? Lots to stream there. Yeah, lots to watch too on SA Live. Yes, and of course, on this Veterans Day, we join the rest of the country in saluting mm -hmm. the active and retired military. Yes, we are highlighting a veteran owned business and they are showing us a twist on their traditional Thanksgiving dinner. And a little hint, it's really mm -hmm. tasty. <laughs> We've sampled them. Also, there are tons of places offering deals for veterans. Our Jen Tobias Drusky is live at one of those places and they're having a big Veterans Day event. And we're turning into toy testers. Before you start checking items off your child's Christmas list, see what happens when Mike and I get our hands on some of the coolest toys of the season. Things get a little messy, but fun. Never <laughs> water like that. And of course, we want to help you honor our heroes. So post a picture, give a shout out to a veteran or active duty military member in your life. Tag us at SA Live KSAT and you may see it, your answer a little bit later on in the show. SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Today is Veterans Day and we want to recognize and thank all of those who are serving and have served our great country. As a way to show gratitude, there are several places around Military City USA that are offering deals and freebies to veterans and active military. From donuts to steaks, current and former military members can cash in on a variety of appetizers, meals and desserts from a wide range of businesses. In order to get those deals, though, you must show your military ID. You can look at a full list of those deals right now on our website at KSAT.com. And what a beautiful Veterans Day it is shaping up to be. It's already 81 degrees at the airport and it's 85 down in Catula, so the warm spot on the map southwest to San Antonio. For the rest of the day today, we'll really only see temperatures go up by a couple more degrees and then starting off your Thursday tomorrow, the humidity is going to be back. It's going to be muggy with some drizzle out there, especially on Friday. Friday will stay fairly gray for most of the day. A stronger cold front arrives on Sunday, but it's not going to produce any rain. It'll just make it feel more fall like with crisp and chilly mornings and low humidity and comfortable afternoons for next work week. 
Thank you, Sarah. That's our show for now. For all of us here at KSAT 12, thanks so much for watching. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSAT 12 studios. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, it is such a beautiful day and it is especially a wonderful Wednesday, the 11th day of the 11th month, of course, it is Veterans Day and a big shout out to all of those veterans out there. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, we are going to be showing you where you can get some freebies today for Veterans Day and we want to help you honor those heroes. So we want you to go ahead and post a picture of a veteran or active duty member in your life and go ahead and add a message of, you know, support or wh whatever you want to say, share it at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter and you might see it during the show. Big shout out to mm -hmm. my dad, Navy veteran, and my grandfather who was in the World War I. So today, you know, is also a great day to highlight veteran owned businesses and show how they are succeeding. Yes, Air Force veteran and owner of Cook With Me, Natalie Adderley joins us to give us a taste of her one of a kind business. Thank you for bringing all this great food. Thank you, thank you, thanks for having me. And thank you for your service, of course. Mm -hmm. Boy, if she was cooking in the Air Force, yeah. they ate quite well. They, so. ate, they ate really well. <laughs> if you can believe Thanksgiving is two weeks from tomorrow, and a lot of people are now starting to get the menus together. And these are some great alternatives, a little, something a little bit different, mm -hmm. but keeping with that, that kind of tradition. And you're originally from Belize, and these correct. are recipes from there, correct? Yes, we have Belizean, traditional Belizean recipes for today. Um, we can use these for Thanksgiving. In Belize, we do these ahead of time, and we use it for Christmas, Thanksgiving, any holiday, even birthdays, you will find these Belizean traditional meals. And I love that. You said you can make them ahead of time, which is great. And Everyone this is just, their ears yes. perked up. Right. <laughs> yes. All right, the first one. The first one is rice and beans. Okay. We made with coconut milk. You want to add all that to your pan, a can of coconut milk, a can of kidney beans. Mm-hmm. You want to fill up with water mm -hmm. and rice. Okay, got it. Sweet pepper, onions, mm -hmm. and thyme. Okay. You mix that all up. All right. Leave it on your stove like you would your normal rice. Five minutes on high, 15 to 20 minutes on medium low. So this is the, the kind of rice you really got to cook, not the five minute instant no, rice. No, real, okay. real home cooking here. But and the easy course, way. The salt, the pepper. Salt and pepper, mm -hmm. mix it up. And ta-da! Or you said if you have a rice cooker, inspire something like that, that saves you another pot that you don't have to try and wrestle correct. with, or one of the stove items. Or one of like the that, stove right? items, correct. You put throw all that in your rice cooker or leave it on there. The rice cooker always has keep on warm, and you can just start that ahead of time. Okay. Right. A lot of times people uh, make mashed potatoes, um, but this is something good: potato salad, a Belizean potato salad, and this is a simple one too because the only thing you have to do is cook potatoes, right? Correct. Potatoes and the and an, the eggs. You a would... nice dice. And how many potatoes are in here? Four large Russell potatoes. Okay, and then some uh, frozen vegetables. Some frozen vegetables, mixed vegetables. Add that together. You uh, add a couple your of eggs. eggs. You add four eggs. Four eggs, all chopped up, hard boiled eggs, Correct. obviously. And creamy evaporated milk. All right, and the secret and the ingredient. secret ingredient is Heinz salad cream. Okay, that and salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and you mix it all up. Right. Just throw it in, and you can make that a day ahead of time and leave it in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And instead of mashed potatoes, you get some yummy creamy potato salad. And again, this is one of those things, not only for convenience sake, but when you add it or do it mm -hmm. a day before, and then yeah, all those flavors, flavors. really kind of All the kinda, milk and the cream in it just soaks yeah. right into your potatoes. Mm -hmm. And something else, this is fascinating here, a pepper sauce, right? A pepper sauce. What goes in that? We have onions, sliced carrots, habanero, and your spices, your pickling spices, are allspice, cloves, and whole peppercorns, which are salt. You want to add 80% of whatever jar you have with vinegar, and you want to fill up the rest with water. You throw that all in there. Now and you can make this. You, way can you make that ahead say the weekend before? The weekend before. Mm -hmm. You leave this on there, and the longer it sits, the spicier it gets. And so that can sit for even longer than a week, right? Correct. In the Belizean household, you will find this on the window jar, sucking up all the sun, making sure it gets all those pickling in. And we just continuously add onions and carrots, throw whatever vegetables you would like in there to um, pur purple onions as well. We do use that. And you can throw this on top of anything you would use in your normal so pepper sauce. Just sitting there on the mm -hmm. counter and just grab Just grab it and go. Well, that's a great idea for anything. Anything. 
Oh, and right. you have mm -hmm. a great business cook with us and we used to come to your home and, and help out. Now it's virtual, but you are kind of holding somebody's hand over a computer helping them cook, right? Correct. Via Zoom, we do cook with me live via Zoom and I cook alongside with you. What, what's one of the uh, easiest things or one of the specialties that people like to like to try? Belizean fried jacks. Yeah, me. You should log in. Yeah, <laughs> and there is a, it's a fried dough. Mm -hmm. And every Belizean household, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I smell another segment. Right? <laughs> right? We're, we're, we're going to have to reserve another one and make those things. So, well, if you'd like more information and have her right there in your kitchen helping you cook uh, virtually or these great mm -hmm. dishes and they're tasty, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Yes. Well, there are a ton of places offering free deals for veterans, but we found one that seemed a little extra special. An even better deal, some great food, and maybe even a surprise guest. Ooh, Jen Tobias Trusky is there right now and has all the details. How you doing, Jen? Hello, yes, we are out here in Bernie in the heart of the hill country where they are honoring veterans today. And I tell you what, they're working really hard. You mentioned something about a special guest. I think he's actually working today. Let's look over here. Hello. <laughs> You know, I told you that I had to work for my food. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> so you come here a lot then. This is Goldberg, by the way, WWE Hall of Famer. Yeah, this is actually my second home here in Bernie. I have all my mail forwarded here because I do spend <laughs> most of the time. But a day like today is very special. Obviously, it's Veterans Day. It gives myself uh, the opportunity to come and thank Mark, who's a veteran, but also the hundreds of people that have showed up. Yes. Um, you know, there's no more important day for a guy like myself because I can use my platform to thank the men and women who have, you know, who protect our freedom every day. First responders, everybody out there, hats off to you. And this obviously means a lot to you. We've, we've interviewed you before, a great person. Um, you obviously have a special place in your heart for all veterans and law enforcement. And so here you are today. Uh, what's, what's some of the feedback you've already received here? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> It, it, it's tough for me because they're appreciative that I showed up, but the fact is is that I'm nobody. I'm a guy who is an actor and, and, and plays Goldberg on television. I mean, that's truly who I am. But um, they're the true heroes. And the best part about me being out, being able to come out is I can unabashedly tell them from the bottom of my heart how much I appreciate what they do for all of us. <laughs> Not just myself, but for myself, who's in a career like the career I'm in, they allow us to do that. Mm -hmm. And they look up to us, and I personally think that's ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm here to tell them, man to man, man to woman, that they are the true heroes. I love that. And and obviously, a big fan of Chef Mark over here. I think he wants you to get back to work, and I'm going to come back over here. Okay, so. Mark. <laughs> Thank you, darling. So nice to see you, Goldberg. So here's Chef Mark. Driver. Vet veteran. And I think this is amazing. Chef Mark, you do so much for the community, but here you are where this place has grown. Tell me why this is so important to you. Uh, well, like I always say, uh, we were built during the COVID, right? During the toughest times. Uh, we've had a lot of... Uh, we've had a lot of support from the community. We've had a lot of support from our veterans. Being a veteran-owned and operated business, uh, you know, we just like to. Uh, there we go. We just like to pay it forward. Uh, so it's it's just it's very important, okay, to us as veterans uh, that we pay it forward. We help others in need uh, when it comes to going that extra mile. There's no mile too long, no hours too long. Uh, you know, we'll do whatever. I'm going on a 24-hour uh, cook fest right now, so you can probably see it in my eyes or whatever, but no, I do it. I do it for the community. I do it for our veterans, uh, and I do it to inspire others to give back, pay it forward. Uh, that's why we're here. That's who. That's how I was raised. And that's that's all we do now. So we're to, blessed. I have to tell you because the wor the work ethic with Chef Mark. Uh, yes, he. I talked to you yesterday, planning for today. You said, "Well, I'm going to be up all night, making sure this event goes well." Let's take a look at some of the food you have here. If yeah, you want behind so us. we got some over here. We got some of our smoked beef fajitas uh -huh. right here. 
Okay, so we've already gone through over 150 pounds of it. Right? What? Okay. We did, wow. uh, what else did we do? We did about five or six briskets. Okay. We did about 15 racks of spare ribs. Wow. And honestly, we weren't expecting the uh, the turnout to be as big as it was. Honestly, we were prepared for maybe 100 people or so, but uh -huh. turns out we've had a lot more than that. And so veterans come out here, they still have time to come out? And actually, are we're, you... well, we're down actually to the last few pounds. Okay. Uh, so I would hate to tell you to come out here, but you're always more than welcome to come out to Compadres. When you're here, remember, better, it, every day is Veterans Day at Compadres, okay? We honor our servicemen and women, past, present, and future. Yes. Okay? So if y'all want to come out, support Compadres for it being a veteran-owned and operated business, come out. We're here in Bernie, Texas, home of the smoked beef fajita. By the way, Mark, all that's ruined in there. I got to take it home with me. <laughs> all right. Uh, obviously, a big fan is Goldberg, so the food is amazing. We didn't get to touch much on that, but thank you for your service. Um, Chef Mark, back to you, Fiona and Mike. I think I'm going to grab something to eat now. Yes. Yes, please go grab something to eat. We're going to live vicariously through you because that all looked amazing. <laughs> I can smell it from here. Thank you, Jen. Oh, those words that Goldberg said. Right? Uh, right? Yeah, like he said, he's, he's just it up. some guy on TV. They are the true heroes in, in khaki and in blue and riding fire trucks. Yeah, absolutely. Well put, sir. Still ahead on SA Live, just before the semifinals of Dancing with the Stars, a shocking, shocking, we said, elimination. Who got sent home? Which one of your SA Live hosts scored some points? <laughs> Our Dancing with the Stars challenge. But first, we're turning into toy testers. Before you start checking off items on your child's Christmas list, see what happens when Mike and I get our hands on some of the coolest toys of the season. <laughs> it's next on SA Live. to wow your kids this Christmas season, we've got the picks for you. And it's easily to wow Mike right here. <laughs> Lori Leahy, <laughs> senior editor at TTPM, joins us to walk us through these fun finds we have in front of us. Good afternoon, how are ya? Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk toys with you. Yes, okay, Mike has been having so much fun with the Hasbro Hot Wheels City Ultimate Garage. Lori, tell us all about it. Right, so Mattel always comes out with a, an ultimate garage. This is this year's, and what's so cool about it is that it holds 100 cars, so that's a lot, and then there's also a dual racetrack, so you can send two cars going all the way down top, from top to bottom, but they've gotta watch out for the dinosaur, because it might jump up. You never know when it's gonna happen. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Here we go, up to the top. Oh boy. It happens. Oh, oh, no, they didn't make it. Oh. Lost a car over yep, here. Let me yep. Mike Mike's car. gonna be right back. Okay. He went to go to retrieve the car. <laughs> this is this is what it's supposed to look like, and if you want to do it, so and there I'll... goes the car. There goes the car. Thought, whoops, this, one's, this guy's in the way, so this keeps going on. And a hundred cars. Well, that's more Hot Wheels than I ever had as a kid between my brother and I. So this is obviously compatible with all the other Hot Wheels stuff, right? Yes, exactly, definitely. You can use it with all your Hot Wheels cars. Um, there's even little play areas at the very bottom, so you're gonna take your cars to a car wash or give them a, a, a pit stop there. Um, oh. Lots of really fun. All right, now the next toy we have here is the Mattel Itty Bitty Pretties Tea Party Collectibles. Yes, so the Itty Bitty Pretties, uh, you have, I think, the big teacup, and yeah. I have a small one. There are two sizes that you can collect. This is a new line of collectible dolls from Zuru. You um, open up the teacup, and then you get to sort of dissolve a tea bag and a pretend sugar cube to find accessories, and then you get to get your little mini doll all dressed up and have some fun role plays. Oh, and I love this, and I love when you go into the teacup here, there's all sorts of fun stuff inside like a real little tea party. Oh. Isn't that cute? Look at a little serving tray with the swirl and everything. Okay. And the big one is a setup where you can make a table and have a nice little tea party for all the dolls at the table. All right, and the next one is the Ego Backyard Adventure Set. Yes, so that's new from Meg Formers, and it's still your your typical, very easy, sturdy magnetic building, but it's a little more story-based for the younger kids. This is for ages three and up, so it comes with these really cute little figures and lots of accessories for building out like a backyard scene, got a little swing and a seesaw, so very story-based, but still that wonderful magnetic construction. 
Well, this is kind of cool because you can also just get really um, kind of creative with it and make all sorts of your own shapes. And it's very nice because there's no glue, there's no fasteners. It's strictly little magnets and they all go together perfectly like this. I've got something very fun in front of me, the Rainbow Sparkle Surprise. And I've got water ready, so tell folks what, what it can do. Okay, so I love this one because it's a new kind of way to unbox the balloon dolls. You're gonna pour the water into the rainbow cloud, and then it's going to rain down on the dolls, on the, the flower pot, and the dolls start popping up through the through the toys. You see their hair first. This one, this set comes with dolls that have exclusive glitter hair, so it's sort of a more collectible way uh, to add more bloom dolls to your collection. And yeah, you can keep adding more water if you need it. You can kind of uh, tilt it a little bit if one flower pot isn't getting enough water. But it's a really fun surprise. Wait for it. Waiting. Wait oh, for it. something's happening. Oh, look. <gasps> something's happening. Oh, I'll be darned. Oh, something's happening. Need more water? Hang on, let me go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. All right, Lori, tell folks where they can go for more information. All right, to see full reviews of all these toys as well as our entire Top 40 Holiday Most Wanted list, you're going to go to ttpm.com. All right, okay, Lori Lee, <laughs> Senior Editor at TTPM, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. That was too much fun, and I was leaning over because I was trying to stop the water from coming off the table. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a big event feeding veterans today, and we are live with some of our service members, and Jen is out there having a great time. And next, it's that time of year to think about the future of your health. The important deadlines you need to know, that's straight ahead. SA Live. Only a few weeks left for Medicare's annual enrollment period. It's the time when many of our seniors make important decisions about their health care coverage for the coming year. Whether you're enrolling in Medicare or looking to change your coverage, now is the time to do it. Joining us to tell us more is Glenda Pope with United Healthcare. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, Glenda, are there Medicare Advantage plans for those on a fixed income? Absolutely. There are multiple plans for those individuals who have fixed income or limited incomes that will take care of their health care needs, covering prescription drugs, uh, fitness benefits, over-the-counter benefits, and more. So what happens if folks don't do anything by the December 7th deadline? Will they still have coverage? You'll still have coverage, but it's very important to make a decision right now because things change. Your plan could change, your health conditions can change, even your finances can change. So it's really important that you evaluate the plan that you currently have and make those changes now. Also joining us is Dr. Roland Reyna, founder of Health Texas Medical Group. Hey there. Hey Fiona, how are you? All right, why is it important to have established care with a primary care physician? You want somebody who knows you, somebody who's there for you 24 seven. And we at Health Texas, we've got 17 locations and we specialize in the Medicare Advantage world. That's what we do and we're good at it. You need somebody to coordinate all your patient care to either be the coach or the quarterback of the team to keep you well, to keep you healthy, to prevent things and to keep you out of the hospital. In addition to that, whenever you do need a referral, we would refer you to the best doctor that would suit your individual needs. Uh, we do have an extensive uh, network of agents who work with us uh, for the, during the Medicare Open Enrollment Program. And you're welcome to stop by Health Texas. We have 17 locations all over San Antonio and we have over 60 providers and we love what we do. All right, Dr. Roland Rayner, founder of Health Texas. Thank you so much for your time. Remember, Thank Health you, Texas Kevin. specializes in Medicare plans. For more information on Health Texas, just call 210-731 HTMG. That's 210-731-4864 or visit the website healthtexas.org. Once again, Dr. Reyna and Glenda, thank you. Thank you. All right, can you feel the electricity in the air? The competition. <laughs>
is nearing the finish line with a trip to the semifinals up for grabs. The stars pulled out all the stops for Icon Week on Dancing with the Stars. The celebs jumped into iconic outfits from some of music's biggest stars, like One Day at a Time star Justina Machado as Madonna dancing to Crazy for You, which Mike is now going to have to say. Or Disney star Sky Jackson made an incredible comeback after nearly being eliminated last week, and she channeled Janet Jackson in a pasa doble to set to the song If. Okay. Oh, I was on camera when I was. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised that Justina Machado is doing so well. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I did not see that coming. Oh, and mm -hmm. here's one. Rapper Nelly, mm -hmm. he's 46 years old. He did a backflip. Getting a little bit up there. <laughs> You're <laughs> jealous, aren't you? <laughs> well, kind of, yes, but careful. <laughs> yes. This is your favorite, right? Okay, yes. Okay, so my pick to win is, of course, the Bachelorette, or you know, the former Bachelorette, Caitlin Bristow, because I think... She's going to have Bachelor Nation behind her. So, you know, everyone's kind of voting. I think she's going to get a lot of support from that. And Carrie Ann seems to be mm -hmm. Judge Carrie Ann uh, Nava's on her side because, I mean, she gave her a big hug and all that. So, yeah. And that's, that's the thing that's always kind of weird because you have the judges judging, but yeah. then also the votes. So, yeah. like you said, the Bachelor Nation because they Bachelor are very, very, Nation. very Woo! dedicated. Yes, we are. Well, each week, along with the dancing competition, Mike and I have had our own competition. So, of course, we try to guess who's going to be sent home that week. We're correct. We get points this week. Nine. Week nine, it was worth eight points. Okay, for our picks this week, I picked Disney star Sky Jackson for elimination. And okay. I thought it was going to be the end of the road for Backstreet Boy A.J. McClain. Now, I picked Sky because she's been in the bottom two, you know, for the past mm -hmm. couple of weeks. So I just figured eh, it was her time to go, you know. What about you? Um, I, honestly, I was kind of... Kind of I, I had A.J. McClain... So. I, I, I had him higher because I, you know, he can, he can, he's a Backstreet Boy. Well, true, but that doesn't, you know, it, it seems like though, even though they have maybe some sort of a dance background, mm -hmm. that's not necessarily. You're right. It's a popularity a sure, contest too. A sure thing, mm -hmm. right? All, <laughs> okay. Even though there are a lot of big fans of Backstreet Boys in the day. So. All right. So the actual bottom two was a shock to most of the audience. Well, except maybe Mike Osterage. It was Olympic figure skatey Johnny Weir and Backstreet Boy AJ. Okay, Johnny landed a perfect score, again, which is unusual because, you know, perfect score yet in the, the bottom two. AJ might have had some missteps, but mm -hmm. scores weren't that bad. But guess what? Everyone loved the routine. It's up to the judges. He got tossed out, so... In the end, a points. split judge's decision saved Johnny, and that means Backstreet Boy AJ won't make it to the semifinals and is out of the competition. And I'm back in the race. Yay for me. <laughs> scored eight points this... And the crowd goes wild in our SAI Live Dancing with the Stars Elimination Challenge. Now our leaderboard stands at 33 for that one and 21 for the gentleman in the blue blazer. Yes, so. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Very GQ. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to watch Dancing with the Stars every Monday night at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. And SA Live every day at 1 p.m. to see how our competitions turn out. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm coming on strong. You got to right you gotta, yep, you do your go. picks again. All right. Still ahead on the show. Do you want to make healthier food choices but just aren't sure what you should be eating? Where you can learn how to make delicious and nutritious meals and have a little holiday fun. And coming up, you saw the big veterans event at Compadres, and now we're going to learn the story behind that business. That's next on SA Live. Hey Mike, I just really want to go back. I know. Exiled to a new studio. Market Square seemed a million miles away. There's no place like home. Try clicking your heels together. SA Live returns to Market Square, November 16th. The first time I've seen that in its entirety. <laughs> oh, you know, Hollywood okay. will come knocking one day. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, as we've been saying, it is Veterans Day, and lots of places are offering some fantastic deals mm -hmm. to our nation's active and retired service members. And our Jen Tobias Strusky is out live at Compad Compadres and one of the big events for veterans. Hey there, Jen. Hey guys, yes, we are back here out at Compadre's Hill Country Cocina. And one thing you didn't get to hear in the first live shot is the amazing story behind the restaurant. So take a look. Opening a restaurant during a pandemic 
may seem risky to the average person. The compadre's idea was already an idea that we were going to have a year from now. Chef Mark Sierra, Army veteran and owner of Compadre's Hill Country Cocina, is quickly making a name for himself here in Bernie with his Rio Grande Valley flavors combined with what he calls Tex-Mex with a Hill Country twist. But all this wouldn't be if he didn't get laid off from his job as a chef at an area country club. The good thing is my military instinct kicked in. You know, now you gotta survive. While on my way home, I called my wife and I told her what happened. She didn't believe me, right? She's like, no, you're playing. You're Cause I'm always joking around. So I told her, she's like, no, for real. Like it, I'm really coming home. I gotta let go. So back in the spring with only $390 in their account, they started Compadres with a social media account cooking out of their kitchen. We created the social media uh, frenzy. It just blew up because I just started making it sound like Compadres was already in existence, up and coming. Everybody took a liking to our logo. They're like, it's perfect for the hill country. But so we went from selling 30 quarts a day of our uh, chicken pozole, 50 quarts a day, 60 quarts a day. Then we introduced a second item, which was our, our, our El Guapo Salsa, which we got the name from an 80s movie, The Three Amigos. At this time, it's when the pandemic was really bad, right? So nobody, everybody was afraid to get out. So we decided, I was like, look, I stayed up all night cooking all this soup and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna come to you. So we were delivering all the way to Ingram, Comfort, Stone Oak. I mean, all around the Texas Hill Country, every single day for like a month and a half, two months. So what is it about the food that had them going from a $390 investment to making $4,000 in just two weeks of food deliveries? Here's the answer. One word. Grandma. They were already in their 70s when they took me in. She was 71, 72. I was only 10 months old. By the time I was 10 years old, my grandmother suffered from diabetes. Uh, like a lot of Hispanic families, you know, runs in the family. She went blind. So when she went blind, it started where they had a home, ho she had a home hospice lady, right? That would come and cook for her. Well, remember when you cook for her, obviously she, I, you got a little one, which was me. So I would ask like, oh, what's for lunch? They don't pay me to cook for you. They pay me to cook for your grandmother. My grandmother heard that, boy, she got mad. Ran her off and said, you know what? I'm gonna teach you. Blind, but I'm gonna teach you. And that's where I get choked up. So did she just taught me, she, she just taught me everything from touch, taste, feel, and smell. She was blind, she would just put my hand out and she would tell me how much of, of stuff to put in. Um, and that was it. When we'd go to HEB, she'd walk with me. I'd, you know, she'd be walking in her cane or whatever and she would teach me how to listen to fruit, what type of meat to get and stuff like that. So that's how I learned. And this is where you'll find them now, in the heart of Bernie with the full on restaurant. This is our second visit, but the first one, we, we couldn't wait to come back. We couldn't wait to come back for our second one. I love everything about the food here. It's got flavor. And yes, even celebrities like his new buddy Goldberg can't get enough of the food. Uh, if anybody knows what the best thing they have on the menu is, it's, it's, it's him. He's gonna give me personal uh, smoking lessons. Yeah, you know, because uh, I mean, why not learn from the best? <laughs> There's a very close and very uh, work ethic that is involved, you know, with, with, with who I am. Proving with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. For Essay Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. Yes, again, everything made with love here. And in their next event is December, it's toys for tags, guys. Thank you again, all of you watching, veterans. Thank you for your service. And back to you, Mike and Fiona. Thank you, Jen. Well, next on SA Live, just because something is healthy doesn't mean it can't be tasty, where you can learn to make those delicious and nutritious meals and have some holiday fun while you're at it. Stay with us. As we get closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, people are looking for new ways to incorporate healthy food into their menus. AARP is partnering with Palo Alto College for several workshops focused on healthy and active lifestyles, and they've enlisted a pro to help us out. Jennifer Flores, Director of Student Success at Palo Alto College, has some great workshops to tell us about. Hey there. Hi, we're really excited about some workshops that we have coming up in partnership with AARP. 
Our next session is going to be on Friday, November 20th from 1030 to 1230 p.m. We're going to be uh, focusing on nutrition. So the first session is going to be the six essential nutrients and how they affect the body, followed by a food demonstration of roasted butternut squash and Brussels sprouts. I know that many people are very fond of um, Brussels sprouts, so we just put a cool new twist on it. Um, it's healthy, but it's also going to be really yummy. So you mentioned the roasted Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. Can you go into a little more detail about the nutritional qualities of each? Yes. Yeah, so again, um, vegetables are really healthy. And especially with this time of the year coming up, um, especially with Thanksgiving, we want to make sure that um, they're going to be healthy. So the Brussels sprouts, um, they're going to be nice and trimmed. Um, we're going to be using olive oil and sea salt. So um, use, utilizing more of those um, ingredients that are going to be healthy um, using ground cinnamon, pecan halves, um, and maple syrup. Well, that all sounds very educational and fun and delicious, but there are more workshops, right? Yes, and then we have also one on Friday, December 4th. We're doing a holiday game day with a, uh, we're gonna be doing traditional games, but with a holiday twist, such as bingo and a scavenger hunt. And then we're gonna be making some gingerbread houses. And are those dishes, of course, nutritional? Absolutely, they are definitely nutritional. Uh, so Brussels sprouts and butternut squash, it's going to be a uh, low calorie, but with a full bang of flavor. All right. Now, how can folks get more information and register for all these events? And of course, are they free? Yes, all of these events are free and they can be located on the AARP website. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Hey, once again, you can register for these workshops by calling 877-926-8300 or visit the website aarp.org slash San Antonio. Jennifer, thank you again and have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. Hey, next on SA Live, you trying to get whiter teeth? How you can get a sparkling smile just in time for all the holidays. We're coming into the holiday season, and if your teeth are yellowing due to years of drinking coffee, tea, red wine, or smoking, we know you can get help by getting a brighter, whiter smile for all of those holiday family photos. Our friend Tia Leslie is here to show us how a whiter smile can actually make you more attractive, take years off your appearance, and boost your confidence. Hi, Tia. Hi, Fiona, nice to see you. <laughs> you too. So, pop quiz. You have an important test you'd like to share with people watching right now about their smile. Absolutely. So we put a panel of people together and we asked them, how much more attractive is a person with a whiter, brighter smile? Does it really matter? So you're gonna see two different slides, one with a gentleman with a nice white, bright smile, and then we've digitally altered his smile to look a little bit more yellow, a little bit more dingy. And of course, this is what happens when you drink tea, wine, cola, those stains stay in your teeth. And I think a lot of people forget that over time. So we surveyed a hundred women and we asked them, who would you rather like to go on a date with between the two slides? And who do you think they chose? Oh, the wider smile. <laughs> you know, most people would say that, and I think you're right. But for me, you know, I've been doing this a long time and I'm gonna go with the underdog on this one. I'm gonna choose the gentleman with the not so white, bright smile. Why? Because maybe he doesn't like to go to the dentist. Maybe he's got teeth sensitivity issues. Maybe he's tired of the time consuming strips from the drugstore. He can get just as wide a smile as that gentleman on the slide. So this is how it works. I've actually included a video. It's a time-lapse video. And what we've done is we've dabbed, we've put a, actually an egg and coffee for 30 minutes and then an egg and coffee for three hours. And the egg really represents your enamel. So think about those coffee stains and how it can really dampen your smile over time. And I think a lot of people forget that. So if you want to whiten and brighten quickly, this is how it works. It's a two swab system. You're going to take the first swab. This is called stain out. This does two things. This lifts the stain first and then also helps to rehydrate that enamel. So I'm just going to swab this on. I can really get into those nooks and crannies. A lot of the strips miss that. And then I follow it up with the whitener, which makes a lot of sense to me. Again, I'm just gonna swab this on, leave that on for another two minutes. It foams up nice, it's a nice minty taste, done. So if you can find five minutes a day for seven days, you are on your way to a wider, brighter smile. 
and it's so convenient. I mean, you can do that, you know, in a commercial break while you're sitting there at home and knock it out and, you know, and even bring it with you and knock it out before you run into somewhere that you want that wider smile for. So what can folks get with your special today? Yes. So you will get 40% off the regular retail price right now, plus free shipping. So you're going to get one seven day kit. Plus you're going to get something called a quick stick, which is my favorite. So if you're going to an event in the evening, you're having coffee, you're having wine, or maybe you're going to the office in the morning and you've had coffee. Like I know I had my coffee this morning. This is a really great way to maintain that nice white bright smile after you've done the seven day kit. So 40% off plus the retail price. This is amazing. Pick one up for your husband, your boyfriend. After seven days, you can really have some fun with this and see how white and bright your teeth have gotten. If you're a busy mom, you're a busy executive, this is the product for you. It's called Power Swaps. All right, Tia Leslie, thank you so much for all that information. All you have to do is call now or visit their website for 40% off Power Swaps, free shipping and free quick stick pen. The number to call is 800-625-6867 or visit powerswabs.com. Tia, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, it is time to start prepping for the holidays, how to create that decorative Thanksgiving place setting without breaking the bank. And we try out the hot chocolate bomb that's been trending on social Ooh. media. Plus, we take you to a local shop that will teach you how to personalize your own holiday cards by hand. That's tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you to shout out to the veteran or active service member in your life. And Annette says, I want to thank my father for his service in the Air Force. Happy Veterans Day, Jose Chapa Franco. Next, we have Rachel. Happy Veterans Day to my uncle, Raymond Rodriguez, brother, Roberto Castillo, and my nephews, Stephen, Daniel, Raymond, and Frank for their service. Thank you very much. Great shot of all those folks in uniform. Oh, yes, and of course, Monday we Yay. return to our home there at Historic Market Square. July, uh -huh. August, September, October, uh -huh. November. It, eight months eight almost months. to the day. Yes, we cannot wait. And we got a special way maybe you can kind of help out yeah. in return. Mm -hmm. We'll tell you all about that. Anyway, see you tomorrow.